Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Jasmine Market Bag, which you can see here in front of you. This is the fifth market bag in the Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along. All of the other market bags can be found here on my channel as well as on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So this is our fifth market bag. This is the Jasmine Market Bag, which features these stripes. Uh, in alternating colors worked in this beautiful little puff stitch flower jasmine stitch. So today we're going to learn how to make this bag. It, the finished size is approximately 16 by 14 and a half inches. It's worked from the bottom up all as one piece even into its continuous handles here up at the top. For the pattern today we're going to need uh, two balls of your color A uh, of the Lion Brand Pima Cotton Yarn. This is a worsted weight cotton. Each ball has approximately 186 yards in it. So of your color A, you're going to need two of those balls. You're going to just need one of the pink Mademoiselle color if uh, you're using this particular yarn. Again, if you're substituting it, it is a worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn, and each ball has about 186 yards in it. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and links to these items, as well as the free written pattern uh, can be found in the description of this video. And once again, the free written pattern is on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look at some of those other market bag patterns. And uh, don't forget to hit that little notification bell so that you can receive notifications uh, whenever the channel is updated. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. For our bag design today, we're starting down at the bottom. It's going to be worked in rounds, and uh, it's uh, a round shape down at the bottom, a circle shape. The finished bag measures approximately 16 by 14 and a half inches uh, when this bag is laid flat. So we're going to start by making a slip knot, and then by chaining four. In your chain four, the last three chains will count as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work 11 double crochet stitches into the fourth chain from your hook. Now if you would like you may start with a magic ring and then uh, work 12 double crochet into your ring but working it this way means that chain 3 counts as 1 so we're going to work 11 more double crochet stitches all into this fourth chain. So that should give me 12 in total, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. So 12 stitches, including that chain 3. Once you worked the 11 double crochet, then into your chain 3 you're going to join with a slip stitch just into the top. That brings you to the end of your round 1. For round two, we're going to chain three. Once again, this counts as a double crochet stitch and double crochet into the same stitch as joining. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into the next stitch and into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join into the top of that first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 24 double crochet stitches. At the end of round two, you're joining with a slip stitch 
into the top of your starting chain three. For round three, you're going to chain three. It counts as a double crochet stitch. And into your next stitch, work two double crochet stitches. Work one double crochet into your next stitch, followed by two double crochet stitches into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into your next stitch, followed by two double crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 36 stitches. For round four, we're going to chain three. That counts as a double crochet stitch and double crochet into your next stitch. You're then going to work two double crochets into the next stitch. Work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And two double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, followed by two double crochet stitches into the next. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round five, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Work two double crochets into the next stitch. Work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and two double crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. At the end of your round five, you'll have a total of 60 stitches. For round six, chain three, and then double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Work two double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and then work two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And two double crochets into the next stitch. 
when you come all the way around to your first stitch join in the top of that starting chain three for round seven chain three and double crochet into each of the next four stitches Work two double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And work two double crochets into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Work one double crochet in each of the next five stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 84 stitches. For round eight, we're going to chain three and double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Work two double crochets into the next stitch. We're now going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and two double crochets into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into each of the next six stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 96 stitches. For round nine, chain three, work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Work two double crochet into your next stitch. We're now going to work one double crochet stitch into each of the next seven stitches. followed by two double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet worked into each of the next seven stitches 
followed by two double crochet stitches worked into the next stitch all the way around when you come to your first chain three join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain three at the end of this round nine you're going to have a total of 108 stitches for round 10 chain three and work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches Work two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. and two double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, work one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches, followed by two double crochet stitches in your next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and at the end of this round, you will have a total of 100 and 20 stitches. At the end of your round 10, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. Now for the next three rounds, so rounds 11, 12, and 13, you're going to work three rounds of single crochet stitches one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So chain one, single crochet into that first stitch and single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one and repeat. You'll want to work a total of three rounds of single crochet stitches one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and then meet me back here and that will bring you to the end of your round 13. At the end of round 13 for your bag bottom your piece will look like this when it's folded over. You'll have finished off with three rounds of single crochet stitches. You're then ready to begin the bag sides. So for round one, we're going to chain one and we're simply going to work a half double crochet into the same stitches joining and then a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Your chain stitch does not count as a stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a 120 stitches. For round, uh, at the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch for your bag sides, and then chain one. For round two, we're going to work one half double crochet stitch, working in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So when you look at the front of your half double crochet stitches, uh, you just see your top front loop. When you pull it forward and look at the back of your half double crochet stitches, you will see a loop that runs just along right under 
the back loop only of your stitch. So it's just a loop, it just runs along on the back of your half double crochet right below that back loop only. This is your third loop and we're going to work in this stitch only. So yarn over, insert your hook under that third loop only, yarn over, drop a loop and complete your half double crochet stitch. What it's going to do is it's going to push the top of your stitch forward. So into the next stitch, working in the third loop only, insert your hook and work a half double crochet stitch. You're going to do that all the way around when you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top, so into the top two loops of that first half double crochet stitch. At the end of round two for your market bag sides, this is what your work from the beginning looks like. You've worked your half double crochets in your third loop. We're now going to work our first round of our textured jasmine puff stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by chaining one and you can pull this chain up just a little bit. We're going to start by working a puff cluster over the next three stitches. Beginning with this same stitch as joining, we're going to work the first part of the puff cluster into it. So to work your puff cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to do that a total of three times. So that was once, yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and one more time, yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You're then going to skip the next stitch and into the next you're going to repeat what you just did. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop and do that three times. There's once, twice, and three times. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. That is your puff cluster. You're then going to chain one. You can pull that chain fairly tight. It is going to loosen up as you're working and that's okay. Next, you're going to work a cluster stitch into the top of that puff cluster. So chain one, just to give yourself a little bit more height yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the puff cluster into the chain space, the chain stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You want to do that a total of three times. So there's once, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, drop a loop twice, and repeat one more time. Yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. That is your puff stitch. You're then going to skip the next stitch and work a puff cluster once again over the next three stitches. So yarn over, you've skipped the next stitch into your next, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, do that three times. Skip the next stitch, yarn over, work the second part of your puff cluster in the next stitch. Yarn over, draw through all the loops on your hook, and chain one. You're then going to work a puff stitch back into the top of your puff cluster, so chain one, work a puff stitch back into the chain stitch, and draw through all the loops on your hook. You're going to continue to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next stitch, work a puff cluster over the next three stitches. Chain 
chain one and work a puff stitch into the center of your cluster. Repeat that all the way around and when you come back to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that first puff cluster. At the end of your round three you're going to join with a slip stitch just into the top of that first puff cluster. For round four you're going to chain one and again you can pull it up a little bit. You're going to work now into the center or into the top of your puff cluster and into the top of your puff cluster you're going to work one puff stitch so yarn over insert your hook yarn over drop a loop three times chain one and puff stitch once again back into the top of the cluster chain one and you're going to repeat in the top of the next puff cluster. So puff, stitch, chain one, puff stitch into the top of the next puff cluster and chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So puff stitch, chain one and puff stitch all into the top of the next puff cluster stitch followed by a chain one and repeat all the way around until you come to your final stitch uh, and or all the way back around to the beginning you'll chain one and join with a slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch At the end of your round four, you've chained one, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first puff stitch, and chain one. That brings you to round five. For round five, we're going to work a half double crochet in the top of each puff stitch and each chain one space all the way around. So half double crochet into the top of the first puff stitch half double crochet into the chain space between the next two puff stitches and then again into the top of the next stitch and then in the chain one space. So do that all the way around. When you come all the way around you're going to um, join and fasten off and we're going to be joining our color B and I'll show you how to do that when I come around. At the end of round five, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, and then you can fasten off your color A. And go ahead and weave in that end if you like. You're then going to pick up your color B, and you're just going to join it with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Chain one. We're now going to work half double crochet stitches in the third loop all the way around working now in our color B. So you'll remember your third loop is at the back of that half double crochet stitch loop that runs just below the back loop only and uh, you're going to work your half double crochets into that stitch all the way around. When you come all the way around you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At this time, you may want to run over uh, to richtexturescrochet.com, grab that written pattern. I'm not going to work it in the video, but from here on, you are going to do a number of repeats. So after this round six, you're going to 
uh, repeat uh, rounds two through to six. Uh, I guess it's a total of uh, three or four more times here. Let me see. <laughs> So for rounds 7 to 11, you're going to continue with your color B, you're going to repeat rounds 2 to 6 through, and then you're going to switch back to your color A in round 5. You're then going to repeat your rounds 2 all the way through to 11 once more, and then with your color A, you're going to repeat rounds 2 through to 6. When you come to your final repeat, you're simply not going to switch to your color B. We're going to continue working in color A for the handles. So you're going to have a total of three uh, jasmine flower stitch rounds in your color A and then two rounds in your color B. Finish off uh, that final round in your color A with round six um, and uh, then meet me back here and we're going to work the handles together. At the end of round 26, you will have completed all of your repeats for the pattern. So it will look like this, your bottom, down you have your three stripes in color A and two stripes in color B. You will have finished off on a half double crochet round in the third loop. And you're now ready to begin your bag top and handles. So what we're going to do for round one of the top and handles, you're going to start by working a single crochet in the same stitch as joining, and then each of the next 29 stitches. So a total of 30 single crochet stitches. There's 10, I'm working under both loops. And 20. And 30. You're then going to chain 40, and this is going to form your first handle. So chain 40, and 40. Once you've chained 40 on your bag, you're going to skip the next 30 stitches. So count across 30 stitches and then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into each of the next 29 stitches. So again you want to have 30 single crochet There's 10. Twenty. Twenty. 
29, and 30. You're then going to chain 40 once again to work the other handle. Now if you would like, you can change the length of these handles. Um, just simply make note of how many you are chaining for each one and be sure to work the same on the other side. There's 20. Thirty, and forty. Being careful not to twist the chain, skip the remaining stitches on your bag, and you're going to simply join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Now for the next five rounds, rounds two, three, four, five, and six, you're going to chain one and single crochet into each stitch, including each chain stitch, all the way around, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, chain one, and repeat. So you're simply going to work five more rounds of single crochet stitches. Once you've finished your five rounds of single crochet stitches, you can fasten off and weave in your ends and that's all there is to working your jasmine mark bag so thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and i look forward to seeing you again soon until then happy crocheting bye